In the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, a strange glowing light suddenly appears out of nowhere in the morning sky. The mysterious object is 30 times brighter than the sun and is witnessed across an area 125 miles wide. People just saw this bright light in the sky, this white hot flame traveling across the sky. Valentina Shusharina is in class at Chelyabinsk University when the object appears in the sky. There was a really bright flash of light. We thought that something went wrong with the light bulbs. Suddenly, it explodes violently. The light was blinding. It could be compared with lightning. It was very bright and white. Then the walls just started shaking and the whole building was trembling. Everyone was terrified. Thousands of windows are broken and 1,500 people are injured seriously enough to seek hospital treatment. Nobody knows what caused the blast. Theories range from a falling satellite to an illicit new U.S. weapon. Then divers find something in a local lake, fragments of a meteorite. But how could it have caused such a massive blast before it even reached the Earth? New research by physicist Mark Boslow could provide the answer. The asteroid is coming in at over 42,000 miles per hour. It's been in space for millions of years. It's been moving very fast all the time, but there's been nothing to slow it down. There's been no friction on it. But when the rock enters the Earth's atmosphere, friction with the air heats it to thousands of degrees Fahrenheit. Eventually, the rock becomes so hot that it vaporizes in a huge explosion before it even reaches the Earth. This phenomenon is called an airburst. Well, that rocky asteroid turns into gas, and then that expanding gas condenses and the little particles form this big cloud. 99.99% of the mass was completely vaporized. And the same thing might have happened at Tunguska, only at Tunguska it was 100%. If Boslow's theory is right, the Tunguska event could have been caused by a meteor that completely vaporized before it hit the Earth. This could explain why there was no crater and no meteor fragments found at the site. But why was the Tunguska explosion so much more destructive than the one at Chelyabinsk? To find out, Boslow's created a computer simulation of both events. The energy was spread out over such a long distance because it came in at such a shallow angle. By the time it got to the ground, it was fairly weak, not strong enough by itself to kill people. Boslow believes that the Tunguska meteor sped towards the Earth at a far more acute angle. It has to dissipate all its energy in a much shorter span of distance. And it also descends to a much lower altitude before its final terminal explosion. And so more of that blast wave energy comes to the ground. So if you're directly beneath it, you're going to feel a much stronger impact. This explains the scale of destruction at Tunguska. The evidence for the airburst theory is actually really strong. It explains the ball of fire coming from the sky. It explains the trees being flattened. And it explains the biggest problem of all, why there was no crater. 